everyone, my name is Carlo and thanks for hanging with me today. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive look into Master Comp by the great folks at PSP AudioWare. This is my Desert Island compressor. I love the versatility and the power and the sound, the flexibility that this one compressor can give me. But then again, all of PSP AudioWare plugins are just amazing. And I created a session here just for us today because I love the look and feel of the vintage style of um, <laughs> of Master Comp, I created a bit of a modern throwback jam for us. Let's take a listen, and I have it right now on my drum bus, my rock tar bus, my acoustic bus, my lead bus, and on my master bus. And we're gonna dive into each one of those in this video and more. Here we go. Now, as you can see right off the bat, Master Comp has amazing metering something I really, really value in a plugin, especially as versatile as this. We're looking at the drum bus right now, and I'm using a preset called Drum Bus Glue, one of my favorites. All right. Now, what makes Master Comp so unique? It's simple. First, under the hood, keep in mind that it's a very high fidelity dynamic processor and has a wide range of controls. I mean, you can go as easy as you want or you can get really, really precise, making this excellent as a mastering compressor and obviously great on buses and individual tracks, of course. I mean, why stop there? Uh, it's very high transparency, which I've always admired. It has advanced metering. You've got both VU and PPM. So you've got um, the volume unit, and you can also have the peak level also, and a clipping meter here, which is a red light right in the middle of each meter. It also does mid-side, left, right, and stereo processing. It is very low distortion thanks to the smooth option here, which we'll talk more about in a bit, but engaging this engages a extra precision level of distortion reduction. Again, really amazing. And it glues things together quite beautifully, if you ask me. Again, that's what makes it my favorite Desert Island compressor right now. You can really energize a mix with uh, Master Comp. You can use it as subtle or just for its analog warmth and character. Now here in the drum, Bus. I'm using it right here. This is a preset. Let's talk about this. You've got app by application, you have by designers, and you have personal presets that you can also create and load yourself. Now, under application, these are really well thought out. I love them. You can go by category like drums. You can see that I'm using uh, drum bus glue, vocals, instruments, and even miscellaneous. So it does give you enough to jumpstart your creativity. And sometimes because of the amount of unique features that you may not see in typical compressors like tilt and linking, and you know, you want to understand how they work. Well, presets can help give you insight into that and how you can apply them to your mixes. So that's another way to really just get started. I'd always recommend diving in with, with presets. All right, let's solo our drums. And here are my master bus here. I'm going to bypass it for now. And let's listen to our drums. Here is the drums without. Just standard nice wool. Program drums. <laughs> let's bring it in. I love what it does to the kick drum there. Listen very carefully. Here's before. And here's with drum bus glue preset on. Yeah, I like what it does to the kick drum a lot. And as I said before, it's very transparent. It can be very transparent if you want it to be. So some of the features, although you may be familiar with a ratio, this one actually goes, is, is 21 different steps right here. 21. I think 16 are for compression and 
is it 14 14 for compression six for expansion and then a one-to-one -one setting i love that it's it has actually it's stepped like that i do because you just get to the point and you know what you're working with and uh, underneath that we have the attack which goes from point zero one all the way up to a second there and another feature is the auto now automation it'll adjust the attack according to the transients obviously it'll move the attack slightly so you know obviously when you put more things on automation you should always listen a little bit more critically to try to try to keep things musical but i find that you know this is a great way to ride the attack and here is that smooth button we talked about, which engages the extra precision mode to reduce any possible compression distortion. And the release, the release actually goes from uh, 0 .01, 0 0.1 to 10 seconds. And that also has an auto feature here that'll ride the release for you depending on the energy and you know, the transients that we're experiencing. And then the classic mode. Now, when you engage this one it, it's very fast and for it's great for large amounts of gain reduction um and is slow or even very slow when using smaller amounts of gain reduction so it's going to work hand in hand with your threshold so these parameters are very familiar to any one of us who uses compressors but master comp does have a personality all its own which is what you want and why it makes a very unique and special tool in your arsenal of plugins here. And obviously we have our threshold, which goes from plus six to minus 30 dBs. Our makeup gain, which also has an automatic here. So you can enable, you can ride the makeup gain if you want to. But notice over here, the sidechain filters, you can choose to filter type and the value, the frequency for both the high and the lows. And you have a link here. Now, this is a variable control, this parameter. And you'll find that what it's going to do is it's going to help you with the stereo field. Because when you're applying compression uh, to your stereo field, let's say in this example, perhaps some things may shift in volume. And I know you've experienced this if you ever worked with plug-in compressors or compressors in general to begin with. This is a very particular, really cool feature. If you find that you're having some kind of shift there, then you can use the link knobs here to control that field for you a little bit more. Not only handy in mastering, but of course, you know, in any stereo bus application. Again, I would recommend trying it out. And then you can choose a high cut, a low pass right here for those settings. And then the tilt, it's going to allow you precision adjustment between the balance uh, whenever, if you think the depth, it says the depth whenever, okay, okay, adjusting the channel processing depth. So this is going to be a little bit more in relationship, uh, I think, with the side chaining. And, you know, if you want to have things that are, are moving for you in your left and right field, both the link right here, and the tilt are where you're going to reach for. See, it has a right and a left here. So when you find something might be off balance or different with the lower high end, you're going to reach for these two parameters to tweak it a little bit so you can have more of the energy concentrated where you feel it should go. And if you've never used these parameters before, I definitely recommend diving right in. And there's obviously a mix control and an output. We could toggle it on and off. And another one of my control, favorite controls here is fat. Um, it en <laughs> so engaging this is a, uh, um, what do they call it? A frequency authentication technique. I think that's what the acronym is for fat. Frequency authentication te technique uh, for the high double quality processing mode, uh, which I tend to often leave on. Uh, I find that CPU processing isn't too much of an issue. And I know I'm going on about these parameters, but there are quite a few here. And obviously you have hard and soft knee compression. And then you, the type of, um, you could have peak detection and root mean square. 
And obviously you can turn your limiter on and off uh, if you, it has a built-in limiter function. And the bottom is the sidechain bar, which you can turn it from external to internal or a balance between the two. Again, making this really unique. And you can also monitor and listen to just what the sidechain is doing. And it gives you a small sidechain metering right there. Another tip for you, I'll tell you, is that you can, let me deactivate that, you can change, it's scalable. I'm rolling my mouse wheel here and I'm changing the size of this. I wish more plugins were so intuitive like this because screen resolutions are changing between 1080p and 4K and such. We've gone on and on about this, but I have to cover these features to show you the value, the added value that Master Comp will give you in any number of ways. So this is the preset called Drum Glue. Let's take a listen again. If I wanted to adjust the release a little bit, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. I'm gonna bring my ratio up a hair. I'm gonna make up gain just a little bit. And let's bypass it. Let's bring it in. It's just gluing it all together. I love that. Let's go into our guitars right here. Here's Master Comp. Now I'm using a preset called Peak Softener. And the reason why is because I wanted to really soften some of the peaks. I didn't want a lot of the guitar picking and brightness to come tr through too much. Here we go. All right, let's bring it in. I like what it does to the stereo feel there. Did you hear that? Here's before. Here's before. Yeah, let me uh, go to right about here. And let's bring it in right here. Wow, it made so much space in the center. I want to do that one more time. Here's bypassed. Listen carefully. And let's bypass it. And let's bring it in. Sorry. I love it. Let's bring in our drums. And our bass. Let me bypass the guitarist now. Ready? They just got a little bit lost in the mix there. Let's bring it in. Ready? Now they have some more definition. But notice it wasn't about volume. It was about quality. A, a real advantage here with PSP Master Comp. Uh, let's bring in our, let's bring in the lead guitar. Now let's do our acoustic guitar next. Here I have it on my acoustic guitar using a preset called Guitar Picking Thickener. I'm going to bypass it. Ready? Bring it in. I'm going to raise my threshold a little bit and the release. I'm going to turn fat on. I don't need the fat. All right, let's bring in our guitars and our acoustics, our rhythm guitars. And you notice on my acoustic guitar, I'm also using PSP Saturator, uh, just to give it a little bit more of a warmth with a preset called Electric Enhance. Uh, PSP Audioware makes a tremendous amount of fantastic world-class plugins, so check them all out. All right, because they really are fantastic. Look at the metering, response beautifully. All right, now let's bring in our uh, lead guitar right here. Yep. Again, I'm using guitar picking thickener. 
let's go to uh i was gonna switch it up but let's check it out first i'm gonna bypass the lead guitar compressor right let's bring it in ready So you don't hear it again as a volume shift here, because I'm not adding a whole lot of makeup gain. It's more of a quality lift, if you will. Nice. I have a clean guitar here that, uh, yeah, let me bring that one in too. And we also have Master Comp on our Master Bus. And I like Gentle Master. I found this preset super helpful. Some of you may love mixing into a bus compressor. I know it's a really popular technique these days. This is an amazing one. I, I gotta tell you, the precision, the transparency, the way that it could just control the levels because when you're adding compression like we're doing here in stages in the drum bus the rhythm guitar bus the lead bus then bass and acoustic guitars there's a you know you got a, you got a lot of gain staging happening and this is a really intelligent way because of its of its quality to help control that gain staging glue everything together nicely and still have a lot of flexibility all right, so let's bring in, here is our mix before. Now we're going to bring in Master Comp on our Master Bus. Right here, ready? Just a magic touch. I'm doing a little bit of reduction, keep your eye on the meters there. Um, there's also some global settings and some plugin information here. And as I mentioned before, uh, uh, VST, VST3, AAX, and it uses iLock licensing. So there's no excuse not to dive right in. I'm going to bypass all of those plugins uh, right there and there. And. You also notice that I'm using PSP Xenon as my limiter. Look at this amazingly gorgeous limiter from PSP AudioWare. So here's our mix without any PSP processing. <laughs> Let me take all of these off. Here we go. I know. Now let's bring them in. Here's everything with PSP Master Comp Processing and my guitars. So this is just a, really a small look into what PSP AudioWare's Master Comp can do for you. If I could leave you with one thing, it's to really understand that this is a high quality precision plugin. And that's the kind of attention that your mixes deserve. I am really thankful for Master Comp. It is my Desert Island go to plugin compressor. I've always find myself reaching for this. And the more time you spend with it, the more you understand its personality and how to really make it work for you because some of the advanced features like linking and tilt control for the stereo field, and especially when you're working and adding sidechain inputs and such, everything you do is cumulative and affects your mix. That's the whole point of all this. But PSP Master Comp puts you back in control. Best way to find out is for yourself. My name is Carlo Libertine, everyone, and thank you for watching.